welcome. We are us, and this is our first look at Last Embryo. I've been waiting for this game for quite a while. It's been only available in, I believe it was Chinese? I'm pretty sure it was Chinese. Not entirely sure, but I'm not going to go back to the store and look. As it stands, it doesn't really matter what it was. The only thing that matters is that it now is at least reasonably translated into English. Admitted, the developer admittedly states that they used machine translation, but, well, we all wanted it to be in English, and it's in English. So, without further ado, The developing city, Aletia, Aletia, has to be Aletia. It was a peculiar island city that existed in the east of the waters belonging to the imperial state of Granz. Because people were able to get rare ores and abundant wooden materials, species all over the world gathered in the city. One girl arrived on such an island. Before we go any further, I need to make a note that this music is way louder than I expected it to be. And I turned all the sounds down to 50%. So, this is the, the developing city, huh? Sil Northeim, she aimed to become a first class sword master. Still used to live in a peripheral city within the Imperial State of Bronze. A certain incident led her to take on the path of becoming a sword fighter, but she feels she has an inferiority complex towards her talented older brother and her master. She took all the money she had to run away from home. Still dreamt of becoming an adventurer and thus came all the way to Alatia. The story begins right here. When Syl arrived in the front of the main gate, the guard protecting the gate spoke to her. Young lady, you made it to Alatia. You're free to stay here, but it's not safe inside, since the population of adventurers increased. You watch out, alright? Sure, thank you. Syl went through the respectable stone gate that was established to protect the city. The main road of Alatia was filled with an exotic atmosphere and tourists. It's such a lovely city. The main road was overflowing with different species. Dwarves, gnomes, man beasts, fairies. There were those who dressed like citizens and also those equipped with violent gear. They were all called adventurers, and in exchange for money, they did whatever charges they could. Adventurer was a title for those rowdy, reckless folks. I heard that if you go to Mistletoe Pavilion, you can register as an adventurer, but... The Mistletoe Pavilion was located further ahead after a left turn. Firstly, Syl must register as an adventurer. It's a bar owned by the Adventurers Guild, Black Fangs, and it was famous for being the guild that had the most skilled adventurers of all Alexia. When it came to monster hunting in particular, they had a performance record that no other guilds could surpass. There's so many adventurers. <clears throat> hey, welcome inside. I haven't seen your face around here. You want to join us? I'm sorry, but we don't employ first-timers. What? Really? We can't bring down the level of dignity we have here at Black Frank. So... I'm sorry, but could you go elsewhere? Uh, all right. Hmm. The 
this is the Traveler's Inn. The building was old, but since it, opera it was operating for travelers, they had a reasonable price. If you paid 30 reals, you even got a breakfast. When one's stamina is low, it is advisable to stay in an inn as much as possible. <coughs> the Magician's Guild. While the island was underdeveloped, the guild gathered the best talents from all over the world to do research on various kinds of magic. It's a little too high class for me to join in. Hmm. Galatia Government Ward. As the name suggested, it was a block that acted as the central government facility. Not only were there government staff, but those from the 13th Chivalric Order of the Demonic Content, also known as the Legion and the headquarters of groups like the Aelith Kingdom's Michelin Church were also located there. But Sewell had no business dealing with them right now. <clears throat> this just popped up. Sewell walked on the main road aimlessly when she noticed the racket. The, the fight? <clears throat> Sewell observed the racket and saw a girl being harassed by a boyish man in the center. Where do you think you're running? My shoes are dirty because you bumped into them. I, I didn't stop with your shoes. <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> the girl ran it. The girl jumped as she ran away and got closer to Syl. I just can't leave her like that. Syl stood in front of the man to rescue the girl. What? Are you getting in my way? I'll take you on. Bring it on, then. <laughs> That's the spirit, eh? Here we go. Well, to start with, I'm going to have to amend my earlier statement that the game was originally in Chinese. On occasion, Chinese and Japanese have a tendency to look the same, but... Uh, Nevertheless, that's my fault. So, keep in mind if you're playing this game that the confirm and cancel buttons are circle, well, depends on what controller you have. It's either circle or, and X, respectively, or B and A, respectively. <clears throat> Let's see what she's got. A magical sword attack that gives three point damage brings the defense power of a randomly. S brings. I'm guessing it's supposed to reduce the defense power of a randomly selected target. You can give damage even to a well protected enemy. I find it fascinating that, that we got two attacks in before he did. Ow! I was expecting that to be one of those fights where you're supposed to lose, and then it goes to a cutscene where somebody comes in and saves you. I didn't expect to be able to win. strong. I totally thought you weren't. The man tottered away and disappeared into the crowd. Um, thank you so much. The girl who came closer to Syl was a man beast girl. She looked like a child, but she might have been the same age as Syl. Oh no, I'm glad you're alright. Please, let me thank you. My house is right around the corner. And since this is the only mark to have shown up. Why? Where did this come from all of a sudden? This wasn't marked earlier. Anyway, let's see if this was it. 
still entered the building with the name written on it. Ah. I'd like to thank you once again for your help earlier. Oh, please, don't worry about it. I'm glad you weren't hurt. Say, is this an adventurous guild? It's a great bar. Thank you. Well, it's only because my father who managed this place was great. I can't fight, and all the excellent adventures have left this guild. So it's just me running this place. So you're alone? I mainly just do harvesting quests, but it's enough to sustain my living, so... I see. Um... What's the matter? If you don't mind, would you employ me as an adventurer? What? I've actually been looking for an adventurer's guild. The one I wanted to join already closed their application, and... I can't just go home. I just can't go back home like this. So could you employ me, please? I mean, I greatly welcome you joining my guild, but are you sure? My guild is super weak. Yes, of course. I see. All right. I welcome you to join us. The name is... Sil Northheim. My name, my name is Linda. Lena. Yeah, we'll go with that. My name is Lena Ida. I probably could have gone with just Odd and it would have been fine, right? Anyway. It's nice to It's nice to have you from here on now, Sil. Yes, likewise. And thus I was able to become an adventurer. I was worried about what would happen to me when Black Fangs declined me, but I finally became an adventurer that I dreamt to be since I was a child. I'm gonna be my I'm going to do my best to be helpful to people little by little. That was what I thought to myself as I faced the first morning as an adventurer. How was, the bre How was the breakfast? Sorry I couldn't make anything fancy. Oh no, please. It was really delicious. More importantly, do you want to help? Do you want me to help clean up? Oh, don't worry about it. You're just starting. You're just about to start working, so. But I even borrowed your room, so I feel like I'm burdening you. I don't feel burdened. In fact, I'm so happy that for the first time in a long while, I have someone who I can have meals with. Huh? It's been several years since I've came alone. Since I've become a master, you're the first adventurer to request becoming my pupil. I wasn't a reliable master back then, but I have confidence that I can fully support you now, Sue. It just makes me so very happy. If it really concerns you, why don't you come on a little walk with me? Since this town is going to be your town as well. Certainly. I'd love to go on a walk with you. Well, guess I know where we're going. This is the shopping district of Elite. Dang it, I keep <laughs> forgetting how to pronounce this. <clears throat> this is the shopping district of Alatia. There's a lot of stores, so you can get anything you want. It's a really busy place, isn't it? You can buy equipment too, so if you need any, that might be a good idea to buy it now. Ooh. I am super hungry. Anyway, welcome. Make yourself comfortable here. I have 250 real, so I don't have enough for anything. Ring of Speed offers agility plus one. It doesn't increase your stamina, so moving around will make you get out of breath. Breast shells, it's made of magical metal, but it's somehow really uncool. Thanks for that. Let's see, that's the magician's skill, so... Here. This area is rather quiet. You're making textile fabrics here. Textile fabrics? Textile is a special 
It's a specialty of Alatia. The ochre worm spews beautiful long threads, and textile made from spinning those threads makes the alat. The textile made from spinning those threads makes the. That's. <clears throat> well. Anyway. The city developed because merchants gathered here in search of the textiles. Although that is the very reason nature has become destroyed. Apparently, in the past, we couldn't survive if we didn't import food from other countries. There was a row of dirty little houses next to the peripheral wall. This is where refugee. This is where refugee farmers from the countryside and immigrants here for work live. Honestly, this is place is not very safe. We shouldn't come near this place carelessly. You don't know what they'll do to you. Noted. What's this? This is the public area for common people. When there are festivals and such, this place gets really lively. Festivals, huh? It must be really boisterous in a big city like this. Yes, even at the annual autumnal sun festival, Everyone dresses up as a god and create a racket. I was looking forward to it so much when I was little. There's a large river going through the city. It's the little, it's the little river. It flows from the mountains far in the north. Water was a really rare resource as well in the past. Because of this river, people were able to start trading, and the city was able to develop. How are you feeling? Are you getting familiar with the city? Yes, thank you. I wonder what happened. It was in such a hurry. Looks like something bad is happening. The developing village in the northeast has been attacked by the orcs. Oh no, by the orcs. Well, the orcs are the descendants of the barbarians, right? I heard they had troublesome monsters when they moved in groups. Yes, if it was regular orcs, it's not as scary. But when orcs come together in a group, a king is born and he comes to have extraordinary leadership. In the past, they destroyed a whole city overnight. All the women and the children in the village have been kidnapped and almost all men were killed. I was so afraid I couldn't do anything. As the man who spoke, as the man who was out of breath spoke, the worried voices spread around. The adventurers passing by went to the gate without uttering a word. The magicians also headed out. And the adventurers of Black Fangs also ran outside. Sil thought to herself. When she was young, she had been in the same situation. That day, when the village went, went up in flames and was filled with collapsed debris, I was at the edge of a collapsed building. Dad and Mom lying lifeless. Yeah. I was shaking back then. I still don't know how powerless I felt at that time. I'm sure that man is feeling the same too. And what I have to do is, I'm heading over there as well. Still, if there are still survivors left, I better get there fast and save them. You have confidence that you'll survive when you're surrounded by the orcs? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like if I don't go now, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. The lion looked down quietly. It was obvious that... Ah, I see what's going on here. Lena looked down quietly. It was obvious that she was feeling like her heart was being crushed with worry. However... There comes a time... Adventures must go on an adventure. Even if that means putting your life on the line, there are things we must protect. I see that you've made up your mind, Syl. So. Alright. As your master, I give you permission to chase the orcs. But please, wait for a bit. I'll give you a map. Lena, thank you so much. Oh no. Please take care of the orcs. It was easy for Syl to find the location of the village attacked by the orcs thanks to the maps provided by Lena.
but this place is abandoned and there's almost no trace of anything. Suddenly, you still felt something odd. Would orcs have intellectual levels this high? Anyway, let's collect more information. Maybe other villagers might have seen the orcs. I heard there's huge trouble happening. If you need any items, I'll give them to you. Whoops. I should probably take some of these. I thought you said you were going to give them to me. Anyway. I'm going to be a little stingy. Well, I have nine of those now. Okay. So, first of all, I noticed that this is not an orc. Also, its design is actually pretty cool. Let's see. Let's not waste any MP on this. Then we'll spend a little to drop its defense. That way we're in this fight for less time. There's a cave further ahead, on top of the northeastern hill, but I wonder if there are orcs over there. However, Syl didn't have any evidence to confirm that. Perhaps it was better for her to collect information in Northern Village first. After walking through the highlands for a while, still saw a glimpse of the destination of the Northern Village. It seemed to be an agricultural village, where young male shepherds stood at the entrance. You're an adventurer, right? If you're looking for the orcs, I saw them walk to the west in a line. Also, there are goblins in the eastern cave. They ravage our crop fields and take our food away. It would help if someone could punish them. Hey, look at that. I think we might just do that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's rest up first. There we go. Going into a narrow pathway surrounded by harsh rocky cliffs, Syl found a vertical opening of a cave in the middle of the mountains. Syl felt the presence of an animal from the darkness further inside the cave. I should go ahead carefully. As she went around the little pathway, she came to an area where the sunlight shone from the ceiling. Still relied on the little light available and walked further inside the cave. It was just then, a goblin with an axe in his hands jumped from the ceiling and stood in her way. Me. Yeah, this goblin. Oh, who you found? You can't let me leave here. Without any further words, the big axe goblin attacked Syl. As our dependable opener, we shall reduce its defense. Goblin leaned his back onto the wall of a rock and fainted. We're going to leave because we need healing.
Look, I just want to be really, really stingy with our healing potions in case they become necessary further on. I don't want to waste money trying to replenish my stock. Sil went further ahead and felt the presence of a new being. A scent of burnt incense flowed towards her. Suddenly, a mysterious goblin ambushed Sil. First, we tenderize. Then we mash. Poise and mist. Wow. <laughs> I mean, okay. Sil defeated the goblin that ambushed her. This cave was used as a nest by the goblins. Fortunately, there weren't many of them, so it was possible for Sil to exterminate them. Sil found a notebook from the bag held by the goblin that was knocked unconscious. Something was written in black ink, so we're just going to pretend like all she's doing is knocking out the things that she's fighting rather than, you know, killing them, which she should be doing because these things are ravaging the crops of the people to the west of this cave. I mean, all they're doing is stealing, but, I mean, it wouldn't take much for it to get worse. Anyway, something was written in black ink. I feel like we really are. We aren't really good goblins. Hmm. Don't you judge me. Don't, don't, don't judge me. Get in there. Sil stepped into the lowest level of the area. As she expected, somebody was waiting for her. Beautiful, maiden. This ain't a place for you to come. Um. Oh, yes. I am an answer. <laughs> it's no use falling in love with me, you know. Because we're different species. Uh. Sil was filled with unfathomable fear and decided it was better for her to strike first to win the battle. She's got an absurdly high critical rate. Or she's just stupidly lucky. Maiden, your sword strike is quite masterful. Goblin Lancer collapsed onto the ground and ceased to move. We're just going to pretend that he's simply unconscious. It looks like a boss is further ahead. I gotta be careful, that wasn't the boss? Ability fortification can be done through the menu screen. Express the points freely in preparation for the boss battle. Huh. 
Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, they actually let us control the distribution of our stat points. For her luck to be only nine. Her defense is trash, but she's also not wearing armor. And it looks like you can reset. Mm. Excuse me. And it also looks like you can reset your stat points at any point for free. Nice. Um, oh, the max HP is 44 now, it's what, 36? No, it was 34 because 16 minus 34 is 18. We have a lot of MP now though. We don't have enough for defense. Or can we only reset the points we've spent this time? Because that's what it looks like now that I see the big picture. For now, I really don't want her defense to be that low. I just really love the old school RPG vibes this gives. A hazy light poured down from the sky and revealed a monster that was sitting cross-legged on the gr dirty ground. I'm defeating all of the four kings under me, huh? You have quite a power. Huh? But there were only three of them. <laughs> we goblins only have male offspring. For us to continue our bloodline, we must do our duties as males. Um, there were only three. Woman, become my wife. The goblin stood up and attacked Syl without further, with no further words. He's a big one, isn't he? The attack looks painful. You gotta use defense at a time like this. You've noticed the ATV gauge at the top, no? If you activate the defense at the time, same timing as the enemy attack, you can completely nullify it. Yeah, but I could also just attack. Oh, she heals off of that? I guess we'll have to play it safe. That hits for 60, 70 damage? Nice. Is that all he's got? Nine? Well, 18, I mean. Nine per hit? Disgusting. I want to see if this heals. Yup. So I can guard to recover health. His defense is still down. I have no idea how long that lasts. I'm 
shall meet again. Girl. When the shaman chanted its shadow illusion spell, the goblins disappeared into thin air. What was all of that with those goblins? Quest clear. Still obtained the goblin blade and goblin armor. I, I have no idea what's going on with that last line. Still obtained 10 experience points and 10 BP. Anyway, let's return to the village and report. What? You defeated the goblins? You're stronger than you look, huh? Maybe you can make use of this text. Please take it. Still obtained the text for swordsmen. Hey, I like reading. By learning swordsmanship, you can increase maximum attack power by one point and BP by a little. Wow, that... That's not a little. That gave us 20. She got 10 BP from the... as a reward for the quest. And Book gave her 20. I mean, maybe in the grand scheme of things, 20 isn't really all that much. Nope, it resets all of your spent points. Okay, that's pretty nice. I don't know which actually affects the critical rate. Is it agility or luck? Maybe we'll hold on to these points for now, until we find out. I mean, I never actually equipped it, but I appreciate it. <laughs> A proof that you've defeated the goblins, although there were only three of them. It increases our attack by one, but reduces our agility. Alright. That's actually pretty interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our playthrough of Last Embryo. I have so much trouble remembering the name of this game. Just so much trouble, but at least it's in my game library now. So I don't have to actually try to remember it anymore in order to find it. Nevertheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. If you're one of those people still on the fence for whatever reason about getting the game, I... I mean, right now, right now it's only $10. I, I'm recording this on Friday. This video should be going up Saturday. So maybe it'll still be on sale. Right now it's on sale for $9.09. It's normally 12 something. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of buying it. Right now it's basically a steal. Anyway, like I said earlier, I really appreciate the old school RPG vibes that I get from this game. I mean, I haven't played anything that's quite like this. Unless there was, unless Chrono Trigger was like this. I don't remember that clearly enough to say. Anyway, I really, I like it. It's still a bit too early to say I really, really like it, but I do, I have enjoyed myself so far. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed it too. So with all that said, we will see you 
next time.